So now that our Mongo base is running on Windows and Macs, depending on what you're using, it should say something with connection. It's connected, ready to use some connections, connected on port 28, 27, 0, 17, right? This one, you cannot shut that down. Keep it running. If you press here, you shut down your Mongo database as well. We don't want that. We want to keep it running. We'll open instead a new terminal. So I'm going in here into the same path like before, and here I write CMD again, and then I start a second terminal. And it's very important you understand this is a second terminal. Oh man, I just did that wrong. Let's just do it again. Click here, CMD, enter. So we have two terminals now, two terminals. We have the one with the actual running Mongo, and then we have another one which is going to be our Mongo client tool. So this one where we write Mongo, not Mongo D, just Mongo, press enter, will actually be a connection to the Mongo shell. So now we can start doing commands to our Mongo database. Like I want to insert stuff. I want to pull stuff from the Mongo database. That's what the Mongo is. It's a Mongo shell. We'll look at different tools for working with the Mongo database, but we'll start with a text editor and then we'll move into a more UI friendly editor later on called Mongo, Robo Mongo, right? But let's start here. Now let's just get some help by writing help. It pops up with all the different things you can do. And for this lesson, all we're going to do is switch to another database. So I typed help and these are all the commands you can use inside of Mongo. And then whenever you're in doubt, you can always write help again. So I want to use a database, my first database, because there are no databases here right now. I can, I can show that by writing show databases. There's only the local one, nothing else. So I want to use my own database now for this lesson. So I'll switch to one called user wishes. That's the first database we want to create. So I switch to the database called user wishes. Next lesson, let's try adding some information, adding some collection to the user wishes. Let's start adding some documents to that collection and let's add some fields to those documents, right? So those were some of the terms you need to start learning. See you in the next lesson where we'll start actually putting stuff using the Mongo shell.